Full weather that we have today a much cooler scene looking so pretty outside right now and our current temperatures in the upper 50s across our south of the lake spots. We are anticipating a kind of chilly start tomorrow morning and then the big story this week will be warmer than average temperatures. I know not what everyone wants to hear the week before we get into the real Christmas time frame, but it does look like we could be nearing record highs late this week by Thursday, maybe Friday, and then we do have a cold front with some rain. Mostly it looks like just kind of manageable showers for next weekend. So that will actually make it feel a little bit more wintry as we move into Sunday, although it looks like the front will be moving in during the day on Saturday. Current temperatures though across our area right now, mainly in the 50s. And as I showed you earlier, we stayed mainly in the 50s all day long, topping out just barely below 60 degrees for many spots. Winds are not strong. And so when we have that set up, that does allow temperatures to fall. But we also have some cloud cover. Look at this though, across most of the US right now, we have calm and chilly conditions. In fact, of course, much colder conditions when you look to the north. But even along the Gulf Coast, we're enjoying uh, if you like it cool, we're enjoying that cool feel that we've gotten with that front from yesterday. And then we have much chillier weather out to the west as well. And we're just now starting to see another storm system approach the Pacific. That one will sweep across the U.S. In the meantime, though, this week will be warming up and then we'll get that next front as we move into next weekend. Next few hours, though, indicate our temperatures may just be sort of hovering where they are, maybe even for a few spots rising a degree or two overnight. So we'll say the overnight lows officially 40s north of the lake and 50s south of the lake. So another chilly start to tomorrow, but we will see the clouds increasing, I think, overnight with a little disturbance moving in, not bringing rain, but we will start with our temperatures waking up probably most of us in the 50s, although overnight lows may have touched the 40s for some North Shore spots. So Chilly tomorrow, think about your jacket or a light coat for early in the day, and then our highs tomorrow will certainly be warmer than what we had today. Instead of staying in the 50s, we'll make it all the way to about 70 degrees tomorrow afternoon. So we'll also have a few clouds overhead, kind of mixing with the sun. East winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, and then we will see our planner tomorrow. You can see pretty pleasant overall, a nice start to the week. No fog issues, it looks like tonight, and maybe for the next couple of nights at least. But look at our temperature forecast. We know this time of year when we get these temperatures increasing to near 80 degrees, a lot of times that also comes with increased humidity. And of course, that does promote some fog potential. So we'll say by Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday, we could have some late night and early morning fog. And also, if you're wondering about rain, our next rain chance comes Saturday and maybe even some lingering showers into Sunday. Not a whole lot of rain with this system, probably half an inch for almost everybody. And we're not expecting severe weather at this time, mainly just showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, and that's about it. Looking for our next weekend forecast. Now Saturday will hit our highs in the upper 70s early and then the front will move in with some showers and clouds, kind of a wintry sort of feel eventually as we move into the night. We'll get into the 50s to about 60 and then Sunday our temperatures will be lower. It'll be kind of a cool cloudy sort of day. But again, it looks like we may have some moisture behind the front, maybe promoting a few showers on Sunday, even though it will be cooler and the front may have pass through or be passing through by then. So that's the tentative forecast for next weekend. We'll keep you updated still several days for timing and a few other factors to change, but that's how it's looking right now. And certainly you can see the big warm up ahead as we have mostly kind of tranquil and serene setup for most of the week, but that warming trend will all be feeling it, especially toward the end of the week.